Okay, so next we are going to add a simple script to the ball and then we're gonna test if we add a force to the ball how does it bounce all over the boundaries. So let's do that. So while selecting the ball blue, I'm gonna click on add component. I'm gonna come down, new script, and I'm gonna name this ball script and I'm gonna click create and add. Now I'm gonna double click this script to open it in mono develop. So here's our ball script. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, oops, first of all, the same way as I have done in paddle script, I will first of all get access to this rigid body 2D, and then I'm gonna add a force to that rigid body 2D, okay? So let's do the same way. I'm gonna write here, public rigid body 2D RB, okay? So the same way it will create, oops, I have actually dragged it in the hierarchy and made it styled, but it will not be there, so let's drag it out and keep it here. If you make any mistakes like that, whenever you drag something inside anything, just drag it again and leave it anywhere and it will automatically go outside, okay? Okay, so now as you can see in the ball script, we have another empty slot which says RB, which is our rigid body. So now the same way we need to drag our rigid body to this position. Since we want to access the rigid body to the attached to this blue ball, so we're gonna drag this blue ball and drop it right there. As you can see now it has been uh, showing, it is showing that ball blue rigid body, okay? So now we have access to that rigid body and we can do anything we want with that rigid body. So what we want is at the start let's do rb dot add force and it's a vector 2 so we have to create a new vector 2 inside that and for the x component I'm gonna give let's say okay first of all let's say we need to create a simple variable that we can control public float um, ball force so this is the force by which we want to force the ball we want to add a force to the ball okay and we're gonna control that from the inspector since it's public so for the x component we're gonna give ball force and for the y component also we're gonna give ball force okay so we're gonna add a force to the ball in the x component to the amount of ball force and in the Y component also to the amount of ball force. So let's drag it and keep it right there. And for the ball force, let's choose 50 and let's see how it works. And before that, before doing anything, make sure to choose the ball blue and make its gravity scale 0 because we don't want it to be affected by gravity anymore because now we will give it a force and automatically because of that force it will bounce from wall to wall. So now let's play and test it. As you can see we have given a force to it and it will bounce. As you can see the force is too low that is why it is not bouncing. So all you need to do is make it bigger. Let's make it 200. Now if I play this scene as you can see now it bounces off the wall and it runs great. Okay, so this is all we wanted to achieve and we have done that. Okay, so one more thing you can do is you can select all of the squads and as you can see we have previously got our bouncy physics 2D material and we can drag and drop it on our box color 2D's material slot. So now the bouncy property is also attached to all these boundaries along with the balls. So ball will get bounced whenever it collides with them with great potential. Okay.